Henry Smith. Madam Deputy Speaker, thank you for allowing me this opportunity to express my respect, uh, my sorrow, uh, and my thanks to Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on behalf of my constituents in Crawley, myself and my family. Much has been said in the last few days since we heard the news we all feared on Thursday with her passing away about how she has been a constant presence in our lives personally and nationally. And there are very few people alive today who have known any other monarch but Her Late Majesty. My thoughts on her passing away were the first time I ever saw the Queen. Uh, I was born and brought up uh, in my early formative years in the Epsom area in Surrey. And when I was a young child, uh, my late mum uh, took my brother and I uh, up to the Derby at Epsom. And again, much has been said about uh, Her Majesty's great love uh, of uh, horse racing. And she attended the Derby virtually every year of her reign. Uh, we positioned ourselves a about half a mile down the road where we knew her official car would be uh, leaving after the race. And I remember waving my Union Jack, um, a passion for flags that I've had uh, ever since as a, a vexillologist. Uh, and I remember as her car passed, her wearing those vivid, bright colours that she always did so that people uh, at public events could see her. And I was amazed when she waved back. Over three decades later, I had the distinct honour and privilege of officially greeting Her Late Majesty the Queen when she visited Crawley. Uh, at the time, I was leader of West Sussex County Council, and one of her duties that day was to <coughs> open a school that had been rebuilt, Thomas Bennett Community College. With great nervousness and excitement, I met uh, our monarch and, as she did with all of her functions and occasions, carried them out in a way that put people at ease and a way where our whole community celebrated. Uh, but Her Late Majesty, Madam Deputy Speaker, visited my Crawley constituency on five previous occasions in an official capacity. First, in 1950, when she was then the Princess Elizabeth. Uh, she came to my constituency to open what is now one of the largest industrial estates uh, in the country. Uh, she named that industrial estate. Apparently, she had looked over the old tithe maps uh, of where it was to be located uh, and called it Manor Royal. Uh, then, in 1958, as then our sovereign, uh, she came back to my constituency to officially open Gatwick Airport, the world's busiest single runway uh, airport and a great driver of the local uh, economy. Her next visit was in 1969, the year I was born, uh, when uh, she uh, came uh, to uh, Crawley uh, to, um, uh, to, to um, dedicate uh, Queen Square. Uh, and where she came to uh, open the Holy Trinity School officially, uh, a school which is uh, soon to be rebuilt as well. Her next visit was in 1982 to lay the foundation stone of St Catherine's Hospice, and in 1988, again back to Gatwick Airport to open uh, the uh, North Terminal. Madam Deputy Speaker, we all feel that we have lost somebody that we have a personal connection to, even though she was somebody who was not only a mother to this United Kingdom, but the Commonwealth and recognised and respected throughout the world. That was typified uh, when, on uh, September 11th in 2001, uh, she um, spoke about grief being the price we pay for love after the uh, attacks in the United States uh, on September the 11th. That is uh, so true. 
I watched with great respect and interest His Majesty's address uh, last night from Buckingham Palace, uh, and I am grateful uh, for the message that the service that we had from uh, the Queen will be continued uh, in the reign of Charles III. We are fortunate in this country to have a constitutional monarchy, uh, and long may that continue. May God rest the soul of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. May God give wisdom to His Majesty Charles III. God save the King. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just do